Hi everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing the Carmen Underbust made by Ava Corsetry. So here's the front, the side, the back, and the other side. So for the length and the fit of this corset, the center front is 11 and a half inches high. From the princess seam, uh, the underbust down to the lap area is nine and a half inches, and the center back here is 12 and a half inches. For the circumferential measurements, I'm wearing the size 24 today, so the closed waist size is 24 inches, obviously. The underbust area is 30 inches, and the hip here is 34 inches. This corset might fit like a long line on somebody else who might have a bit of a shorter torso or uh, less depth in their pelvis area. Uh, for me, my iliac crest is about there, it comes down about one inch, so on me it feels more like a mid-hip corset. I also find the silhouette of this corset to be very comfortable, and it gives a really nice hourglass shape, I think. You can see that it can a little bit of cupping in the rib cage here and also some roundness over the hips. So here is the Carmen corset laid flat on the table and for the materials two main layers of fabric. The fashion layer is this red polyester taffeta um, and on the inside here it has black herringbone coutille. And as far as the weight of this corset goes, because it's only two layers, um, and both layers are fairly, I would say, um, densely woven, yet uh, not too thick or plush, it leads to the corset itself being fairly lightweight compared to many other corsets that I've tried. You can also see that the center front here has the black floral lace overlay, and there's also black floral lace hip fins here, and this is strengthened by another layer of black tulle underneath. So here's what the Ava Corsetry label looks like and the size, and you can also see um, the fiber content and the cleaning instructions. So turning the corset on its side so that you can see the pattern of this, there are five vertical panels, one, two, three, four, five, and then a six panel here is this uh, hip panel here, so this is the semicircle. And if I kind of pull away the hip fin, you can see that there are some darts under here that helps it curve a little bit better over the hip. So it's pretty clever how it was um, hidden by these hip fins or baby panties. And this corset was constructed using a welt seam method, which is popular for uh, double layer corsets. And you can see that on the inside, there are a few um, internal boning channels. These are also made with strips of herringbone coutille. And there are some floating panels actually on the sides here. So uh, this seam and this seam are actually not attached to the strength layer underneath and the bones are secured onto the strength layer only so that you can sew uh, the hip fin over top of it. And for the waist tape, there is a waist tape in this corset, it's a partial waist tape, one inch wide and it starts from the seam between panels one and two, going back to the seam between panels four and five here. And it's invisibly stitched between the layers. Here's a close-up of the binding, and it's made from uh, matching red strips of poly red taffeta, machine stitched on the outside and the inside. You can see a little bit of a top stitch right there. Um, it's a little bit more delicate binding, a little bit more narrow than I see in some other styles of corsets, about the same width as you see on uh, the end of the hip fin right there. So uh, like I said, machine stitched on both sides, and it also has six garter tabs, three on each side. The modesty panel in this corset is about six inches wide in total. I would say about four and a half inches of usable space. It's finished in the same red taffeta and the herringbone coutille. You can see that is unstiffened, no bones in it, and it's secured to one side of the corset. So if you don't like modesty panels, you can just remove that seam. You can see that there's also a half inch wide modesty placket uh, extending from the knob side of the busk here. Again, uh, no bones, unstiffened, and uh, just finished in the same red taffeta. The busk in this corset is 10 and a half inches long. It's half an inch wide, standard flexible busk, it has five loops and pins, the bottom two are a little bit closer together, and adjacent to the busk on each side there is a quarter inch wide flat steel bone which helps to reinforce the front a bit. This corset has a total of 16 bones, eight on each side, not including the busk here. They are all one quarter inch wide and they are all steel. They all attract my magnet here, except for uh, this one with the hip fin, which is probably acrylic, but it's not um, taking any tension really. So uh, for the bones here, 
the one by the busk and the two sandwiching the grommets on each side those are flat steel bones and i believe all the ones on the sides here are quarter inch wide spirals there are a total of 24 grommets in the back of this corset, 12 on each side. They are all equidistantly spaced. I believe they're size double zero with a small to moderate uh, width flange around them and finished in silver. Uh, there are a couple of places, I believe two places, where there's some superficial damage to the, the uh, taffeta that's pulling away there. And I've had at least four different uh, corsets with taffeta in the past and like all but one of them have had a, a similar problem with uh, some superficial pulling away of the taffeta at the waistline there. So I'm not sure if it's something that has to do with the taffeta. The one that did not um, have the pulling away had much larger grommets with a very wide flange. So um, there could have been pulling away underneath that grommet as well, in fairness, but you know, the flange was so large that you wouldn't even see it. Um, but on the underside here, you can see that all the grommets have washers in the back. They all seem to have rolled nicely. I don't notice any uh, like splits that catch on the laces or anything. And the cotille, the strength fabric, seems to be still holding fast. I don't see any uh, fraying or pulling away of the strength fabric. The Carmen Underbust is no longer available in stock as a ready to wear and ready to ship line. I actually bought this corset during Ava Corsetry's last clearance sale, but if you were to commission uh, Ava Corsetry to make the Carmen Underbust for you in a standard size, it would start at 174 pounds, 50 pence, and that converts to about $260 US. And if you wanted to upgrade to custom fit, the markup price for that starts at only 10 pounds, depending on the complexity and how much you need tweaked for it to fit you. And this concludes my review of the Carmen Underbust made by Ava Corsetry from the UK. So I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to click that like button and help support the channel. If you have any comments or questions about this corset or Ava Corsetry in general, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you have this corset or another corset by Ava Corsetry, let me know what you think of it. And I will see you all next week for another video. Bye.